And we want to dig into how the Trump campaign is reacting tonight. For that, we turn to ABC News Chief Washington Correspondent uh, John Carl. Uh, big picture this for us. What does this mean for Trump? Uh, you know, look, b before I fully answer that question, can I just state something that, that, that is obvious but easy to forget amidst all of this? Two states have yes. voted, <laughs> and they're two small states. Uh, two small states have voted. Uh, Donald Trump has won both of them. We have never seen a Republican presidential candidate win both Iowa and New Hampshire and then not win the nomination. So, yes, he is far and away the front runner. Is he the presumptive front runner, the presumptive nominee? Not yet. Uh, there's a lot of voting left to go. But Nikki Haley, New Hampshire was the state that she was best positioned to win of them all. She didn't. She got closer than she got in Iowa. Uh, she managed to vanquish all the rest of her opponents. She has that one-on-one -on -one race against Donald Trump that she's wanted all along. And finally, she has begun to take the fight directly to Trump in a way that she simply wasn't during the campaign. Now she gets a chance. Nevada, as you were discussing, is really not in play uh, because of the rules and how it was set up. So the next big state is her home state. So can she win there? Well, she was elected governor twice. She was reelected overwhelmingly. Um, but it's a real uphill battle for her. I mean, true, Democrats can vote in the Republican primary in South Carolina. I'm not sure how many of them will actually want to do that to vote for Nikki Haley. Um, and she goes to a state that is her own state, but is a state where Donald Trump is wildly popular among Republicans. He has the endorsements of both of the senators. He has endorsements of all of the Republican congressmen, except for one, who is still sticking with Nikki Haley for now. Um, and uh, uh, he has the endorsement of the uh, governor, her former lieutenant governor. So this is going to be a very, very tough battle. The other thing that the Trump campaign has been doing, and there, in some ways it's a much better organized campaign than we saw in 2016 uh, when, when he first won, is they have gone through state by state and tried to work the nominating rules, how each state allocates um, uh, delegates to be in a favorable uh, position for him. So, and, and he now controls uh, most of these state parties, um, which he didn't in 2016. He was an outsider in 2016. He's no longer the outsider. Donald Trump is the Republican establishment right now. And just a really quick question about those delegates. Even if, yeah. we'll, we're just going really out on a limb here, even if he is convicted and she stays in, hanging by a thread, but doesn't have the delegates, then what? Yeah, well, if she doesn't have the delegates, she's not going to win. Um, and 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 those delegates, you know, first of all, it, it, you raised the question: if he's convicted, I guess there is a scenario where one of these trials could actually not only start but be done before the Republican convention. It's unclear which one that'd be. Maybe it could be Jack Smith's. Uh, election interference case, although there's real doubts about uh, how quickly that's actually going to get underway. It's scheduled for, for March 4th, but uh, it's it's not going to start by March 4th, and, and we'll see when, when it starts. And trials take a long time, especially with something like this. Um, and th there's, there's nothing to prevent a convicted felon um, from getting elected president of the United States. He may not be able to vote in the okay. state of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> as a convicted felon, but he will be able to be elected president of the United States. Very fascinating, uh, our politics there. All right, yeah. Jonathan Carl, our thanks to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.